What's going on chickies? It's Baron here. Today we're going to be doing a video on the Redeemer versus the Hammerhead. I know a lot of you are not going to like this. Now the reason I do this is because I know for a fact that the Hammerhead has got more weapons than the Redeemer, but I'm just going to bring a little bit of an argument into this. But before we get into it, don't forget to go and check out the T16000 giveaway. Hashtag sticks, S-T-I-C-K-S. Doesn't really matter how you do it. And don't forget to become a channel member or patron to get more entries as well, depending on the level you want check out the discord and all links in the description but we're going to get straight into it um so i haven't really done a video like this in a little while it's something that I, i've been thinking about doing for a while and it actually just hit me tonight i was like you know what instead of doing my regular video i'm going to do something different lately uh, you know it's been getting a little bit more monotonous and i thought i'd do something different for you guys so let me know down in the comments what you think of this. I know everyone's going to go, oh, you know, but the Hammerhead's much, much more powerful than the Redeemer. And yes, I can, I can grasp that. I can understand what you were talking about. But given that the Redeemer is a lot more powerful in the sense of it has pilot-driven weapons, and one, if one of the turrets, remote turrets, isn't being powered or controlled by a uh, passenger, it can actually be slaved to the pilot. So that's another positive on that. But we go into the stats of the actual Hammerhead itself. Now going into the weapons of the Hammerhead, it actually has a lot of weapons. As we know, it has 24 size 4, so it's like quad mount weapons that are on them and it has 32 missiles that are for the pilot and they're not all the same sort of missile they're uh, broken up but they are the same size so the size of those are a size 3 missile you have arrestors and vipers on there so looking into it obviously the redeemer has the same amount of shields as the hammerhead so there's an advantage there as well and the redeemer is much more nimble and a little bit quicker than the hammerhead obviously the hammerhead does have to swing around a little bit but then you know the redeemer again is not going to get a little bit of a break from all the firepower because obviously the hammerhead hasn't really got any blind spots if it is fully manned that is if it is fully manned so you know if they could get away from the hammerhead to regen their shields then they could so you know in coming to this argument of which one is going to win and you know versing what ship i think it's all going to come down to the fact that you know each ship has got their own little bit of uh, capabilities and has its own little thing that sort of benefits it obviously the hammerhead being the size it is and the amount of firepower that it has but then you have a look at the redeemer and people are calling it a mini hammerhead which you know is agreeable but then saying that is it really going to beat a hammerhead i would like to see this fight i would like to actually partake in this fight obviously no one losing any gear but if you have a look at the hammerhead obviously like i said it's got all those weapons there's like 24 guns there you got all these missiles as well so there's 32 missiles and then if you have a look at the redeemer you've got the two rc 788s for the pilot then you have two manned um size fives so you have the ads uh, adsb ballistics so there's two on each one they're ballistic gatlings and then you have two remote size threes which are uh, dual a's the cannons the m5a's but again, like I said, one of those remote turrets can actually be slaved to the pilot. And then you have 16 size 2 missiles on there as well. And you do have the same size size 3 shield as the hammerhead, which is a bit of an advantage. Now, the only thing that it really doesn't have the same as is it doesn't have the same amount of power plants or coolers. But everything else is pretty much the same besides the quantum drive, obviously. So... If you really do look into this ship, it is like half the amount of firepower that the Hammerhead has, but obviously it's about like quarter the size of it, not even half the size of it. If you really have a look at all these stats, if you go into it, like the Hammerhead's 112 meters and then the Redeemer's what, 51 meters, so it's pretty much half the, like the length of it. And if you've flown the Redeemer and you've flown the Hammerhead, you know how much of a slug the Hammerhead is. It is a great ship. I know it is. I've flown it. I've soloed it. It's a great ship. But then if you jump with the Redeemer, it's nice, nimble, and quick. Obviously, these will change over time. It's not always going to be like this. There may be some changes put in there. But given that the, ham uh, the Hammerhead is a heavy gunship and that the Redeemer is just, you know, a smaller, probably a medium gunship, it's going to, like, drive questions of, you know, will the Hammerhead be... I don't know it's supposed to be a slow corvette where you know the redeemer itself is a medium ship but it's quick and nimble well not really quick and nimble in a fashion of speaking but obviously you know what I mean in the size that it is and the gun ship that it is 
but again you know there's going to be another um, event coming up very soon we've got it in the PTU at the moment and it's obviously the Nine Tails mission that we had before so people are going to be testing out their uh, their ions and whatnot. so I'm hoping that people are going to be taking out their Redeemers, Hammerheads uh, Ions, Infernos and testing these sort of statistics and you know if they don't I would like to test this myself like have these two go against each other maybe even take a fully manned Redeemer to versus a Hammerhead because I feel like the Hammerhead would yeah I don't know I think it would fail in some points and then the Redeemer would fail in some points but at the same time I don't know it's a very uh, logistical fight it's a very if you really do think about it the Hammerhead hasn't really got too many advantages over the Redeemer obviously but being that it has more firepower and it has a lot more um, missiles driven to the pilot but I feel like the Redeemer could outrun and do a lot more than what the Hammerhead could do obviously let me know down in the comments what you think I would like to see this fight if anyone has already done this fight let me know down in the comments come into our discord and let me know because I feel like these two are just going to have such a collision there if they would have a fight it would be amazing I know I keep going on about it but going into components as well I feel like the hammerhead obviously outpowers this thing amazingly but I just cannot fathom that you know this Redeemer is a medium uh, gunship where the hammerhead is obviously a heavy gunship but there's just the firepower between the two it's just I just I would love to see the actual fight between these two it just gives that argument of is it really that much better than the Redeemer you know I love the Hammerhead don't get me wrong it's a great ship but if you look into the background of the Redeemer and the gunfire behind it the actual shielding behind it the armor behind it like obviously we don't have armor yet but this thing is an absolute tank but saying that I have actually taken one out with an Inferno once it was actually quite easy I think it might have been when they were balancing it out at when I was you know using the Inferno the Inferno was quite weak at the time but I feel like it was at a balancing point so they didn't really have anything really sort of ironed and figured out which you know it, it things happen it happens but that's just what I think let me know down in the comments what you guys think it's been Baron I'll see you in the verse